Today, the Department of Interior released an emergency and flood alert system for remote backpackers and hikers in the Grand Canyon. They believe it could be a blueprint for other re regions that are vulnerable to flooding. Joe Dana has the details. We all know how devastating flash floods can be in the Grand Canyon. It's not just the river, but all those side canyons and feeders. A new tool was unveiled this week, the first of its kind in the country. It alerts campers and hikers in the 300 mile canyon about oncoming floods, debris flow and boating hazards. Park workers believe this is a framework for other land management agencies around the country to warn of floods, specifically for those remote areas where people don't have cell service. It's called the Grand Canyon River Alert System. It's the brainchild of Coconino County Emergency Management and several federal agencies, including the National Weather Service. It's been in the making for years. Now you can actually sign up for the free satellite subscription. It's designed to send custom hazard alerts to any device, including your phone, anywhere in the canyon by satellite. The lead meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Flagstaff says one of their biggest frustrations is they can't reach people in the canyon when there's a flash flood warning. This tool integrates decades of knowledge to tailor alerts to campsites, tributaries, and land formations. If there's rainstorms there, there's going to be water coming off those cliffs. I spoke with a member of a working group on this project, Grand Canyon researcher Tom Martin. Martin points out that something like this could come in handy, not just for the canyon, but for several flood prone areas in Arizona. It's the Perea River down through um, Perea Canyon. A slot canyons where, where people have died, Antelope Canyon comes to mind. There's a number of places all across the state of Arizona, incredibly wild and very wonderful places that you really don't want to be um, if there's a flash flood. Martin also agrees with the superintendent of the Grand Canyon National Park who says, no technology replaces situational awareness. And it's also worth pointing out that compared to the number of hikers and river runners each year at the canyon, flash flood deaths are very rare. But as we learned just last year at Havasupai, when they hit, they can be tragic. The Department of Interior tells me, while the new alert system was developed specifically for the Grand Canyon, the framework it uses could apply to most wilderness areas. The USGS tells me they've not officially rolled this out for others, but they hope this announcement will help. You can go to this story right now at 12news.com to download the new Grand Canyon alert system. This is especially tailored for those backcountry hikers and river runners. Joe Dana, 12 News. Joe, thanks.